A solar farm gives landowners extra income for 20 to 40 years, but the solar farm installation process is simpler and faster than you might think. Today, we're taking you through the entire solar farm life cycle timeline from empty land to an operating solar farm to finally decommissioning at the end of the solar lease. The first step in building a solar farm is understanding the land requirements. If you have land, you'll partner with an experienced solar developer like Pivot Energy, so we can evaluate the topography and the landscape of your site. Generally, the flatter a site is, the better it will be for solar development. However, we've seen successful projects built on sites with gentle grading or even rolling hills. That said, if your land has significant floodplain or wetland concerns, it can pose serious challenges and may prevent a solar project from moving forward. Typically, floodplain restrictions vary from state to state. Another key consideration is how close your land is to a utility's infrastructure. Whether a project spans 10 acres or 1,000, it must be located near existing utility connections to ensure efficient energy transfers. If you want to learn more about solar farm land requirements, check out this video about the best places to build solar farms. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel or newsletter using the links down below in the description for updates on everything related to solar and solar farms. During the initial phase, Pivot Energy will work with you to determine the least area on your property. The exact location of the solar panels installation will depend on your preference and the project requirements. Once your land is confirmed to be suitable for a solar project and all parties are in agreement, the next step is signing a land lease with Pivot Energy. A standard lease typically spans 20 years and includes two 10-year extensions. Solar projects are built to last and have a very long shelf life. It's important to remember that this is a long-term commitment and you cannot terminate the lease once it is signed. This is because the solar project is designed to generate electricity for the utility and your community, which rely on consistent solar production for 20 years or more. Even though you're entering into a lease agreement, you retain ownership of the land. Ownership of the property simply follows the land. If you decide to sell the land or put the land into a trust, whoever becomes the owner is now beholden to the terms of the lease. If you're curious about the details of a solar land lease and how it works, check out this video over here. First off, in the lease, we have the development period of a solar project, which typically spans three to five years. During the development period, Pivot Energy conducts site-specific due diligence to prepare your property for construction. This period of time involves working with your local authority housing jurisdiction, or AHJ, to secure various permits and studies, including those for land use, zoning, grading, construction, and electrical. While the site is being prepared, you may use your land and continue any ongoing operations, such as grazing or crop production. Lease rates vary by region, but Pivot offers competitive rates while maintaining our ability to get solar projects built and approved in a timely manner. Watch the full interview here. We were able to save the farm, basically, because of Pivot. Once all of our due diligence is finished, Pivot can move on to active construction of the solar project. We already have a full video on what activities take place during construction, but I'll cover it here again briefly. Construction generally takes between three to nine months. And during this time, Pivot Energy uses steel poles that are driven directly into the ground. This method allows for quick installation and ensures the land can be quickly restored once the solar project reaches the end of its life cycle. The level of impact on your property will vary depending on the stage of construction. Some common activities during this phase include increased road traffic, possible tree trimming or removal, construction sounds such as pile driving, vehicle backup alarms, and more, a potential access road installation, construction traffic, including four-wheel drive vehicles, and heavy equipment. This is also the time when the land would be prepared for agrivoltaics, allowing us to either graze animals or continue crop production as soon as the project is completed. If you want to learn more about agrivoltaics, check out this video. Once the construction is finished and the solar system becomes operational, the least area inside the fence line will no longer be accessible for other uses. Once the construction phase is complete, the site is finally energized and begins generating electricity. This marks the start of the operations period and Pivot begins paying you on a per acre per year basis. From this point forward, Pivot Energy takes full responsibility for maintaining 
everything within the lease boundary, including the solar equipment, access driveways, vegetation management, and fencing, which means you won't need to worry about maintaining any aspect of the leased area. Pivot Energy handles it all to ensure that the solar farm operates efficiently and reliably as part of the lease agreement. Let's say you have a successful 20 years and the project is renewed for another 20 years. Pivot Energy begins the decommissioning process in the final year of the lease. During this time, you will continue to receive operations rent payments. As part of the decommissioning, all above and below ground equipment, including solar panels and fencing, will be removed from your property. The solar modules are often repurposed for new projects or recycled, while materials like steel, copper, and aluminum are removed and recycled for their salvage value. Once the equipment is removed, Pivot Energy will reseed the land with a native seed mix to restore it to its natural state. If you plan to return the land to a specific agricultural use, we can reseed according to your preferences or simply let you handle it. This ensures your land is in excellent condition and ready for its next chapter. There you have it, the complete solar farm life cycle. If you are a landowner interested in leasing your farm for a solar project, the Pivot Energy team is always happy to help. Please visit our website or contact us at the email listed down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter. See you next time.